The Honolulu Police Department is investigating two of its plainclothes officers for manslaughter after a man died in part from injuries suffered during his arrest. On December 28th of last year, the officers used physical force to arrest 77-year-old Thomas Matias for allegedly operating a stolen moped at the Ala Moana Center parking lot. Matias was taken to a hospital but refused treatment and was eventually released pending further investigation. Two days after being arrested, paramedics and police officers went to the male's home to provide medical assistance. The male told the responding officers that he had been assaulted by police officers two days earlier. He then was transported to the hospital where he was found to have multiple rib and facial fractures. For reasons unknown at this time, the male left the hospital uh, several hours later that same day. Sadly, he was found deceased in his home in January 10th of this year. An autopsy determined the cause of death was a combination of existing medical conditions and recent chest and rib injuries. The two officers, who have three and eight years of service respectively, have been placed on restricted duty while the investigation takes place. While there is no body-worn video, a police spokesman did tell us there is surveillance video of the incident, but it has not yet been released. The police officers union, Shopo, released a statement today saying, quote, it is important to remember that at this point in the process, these are allegations. We fully expect the Honolulu Police Department to conduct a thorough and objective investigation into these allegations to get to the truth. Shopo firmly supports a fair process that holds our officers to the high standards expected of them by our fellow officers and the community we serve, end quote. Now, according to the state, the victim, Thomas Matias, has a lengthy criminal rap sheet, which includes 28 prior convictions on his record. Now, these happened between 1965 and 2015. And among the charges, there were multiple felonies, including assault, robbery and weapons charges.